So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to make a sound effect similar to this one using Serum inside of Ableton. So this is the end result that we are expecting to get. So let's just begin. So I'm going to have a Serum into a new track. And then before I do anything else, I'm just going to copy these two MIDI clips, which is just a C note with a bit of pitch bend. And first of all, I'm going to set the pitch and I'm going to set the pitch to uh, plus two on the octave settings, minus seven semitones and the pitch bend range. I'm just going to set this to minus seven. Now I will tell you why the pitch setting is, is very specific later in the video. So the wavetable that I'm going to use is the analog BD Syn. And I'm just going to set the wavetable position to 256. So it sounds like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is to set the ADSR. I'm going to set the attack to maybe 15, just to remove the uh, click. And then I'm actually going to set the decay to zero and use release instead. And I'm going to have around maybe 500 millisecond. So now it sounds like this. So you can already hear the uh, foundation of the sound effect. And then I'm going to choose sync from the warp menu. And I'm actually want to automate or modulate this using another envelope, which I'm going to set to have a similar shape with this one. But instead of using release, I'm just going to use decay. And I'm also going to set the attack to zero. So again, I'm going to use decay instead of release. So set the sustain to zero. And I'm just going to set the decay to m sort of match the sh shape of the envelope one. Something like that. And I'm going to put the envelope two into the sink. And based on testing, I'm just going to set this to 70. And then for the oscillator B, I actually want to have somewhat of the same settings. So I'm just going to go to menu copy oscillator A to B with mods. And I'm just going to set the octave to plus one. And then I'm going to also put envelope one into the sync of the oscillator B. Again, set the settings to 70. So now it sounds like this. And that's pretty much what we need to set up for the oscillator. Next, we're going to go to effects. And first of all, I'm going to add a reverb. I'm going to put the order to be on top. And I'm actually going to use plate. And based on testing again, I'm going to set the uh, damp to 50 and mix to 50. 
So it's getting closer to the intended sound now. And then I'm just going to turn on hyper dimension, not going to change any settings and also distortion, which I'm going to use a diode one type of distortion. And I'm going to put envelope two into the drive settings. And I'm just going to set the mix to again 70%. I'm going to turn down the volume a bit because it's going to be a bit loud. And as you can hear, we are very, very close to the uh, intended sound. In fact, the last thing that I'm going to do is to add a serum effects and add another distortion set it to down sample. And again, based on testing, I'm going to set this to 48. And the mix, I'm going to set it to 60. And we're basically done. So the reason why I have a very specific pitch settings in the beginning is because depending on the pitch that you're using or the note, the sound can be drastically different. So if I just open the clip and change the note to B, for example, as you can hear, it sounds drastically different. And also you can play around with the down sample settings. And that's about it for this short video. Bye.